A friend of mine, Jim, just sent me this uh, envelope with some uh, pics in it. So, I'm going to try to open it up one-handed. Uh, apparently it has these little... Um, I'm doing this quite poorly. Uh, it has pics in it that have like sticky kind of sandpaperish type stuff on them so that you don't okay is that it yes so that you don't uh, lose them so that you don't uh, drop them and stuff I just take a look at them so uh, let's see let's open it up pop them out on the counter here and we'll take a quick peek and then we'll go downstairs and try them out Okay, so it looks like not only do we have a pick with it on, but have ones that we can try and pick them up with my non-dominant hand. Ones that uh, you can pick up uh, sorry, th that we can stick on our own picks. So, I am going to do that. And see how they how they go. Stand on the counter. And uh, let's head downstairs and try them out. Alright. Uh, they all basically work the same. You know, it's a little uh, kind of piece of gritty... Uh, sticker so I'm gonna go with the circle one with a little hole cut out because I have a feeling about something uh, okay it's a little hard to get the paper backing off but it could be because I just cut my nails so I'm going to Let's see. Let's see if I can center this, sort of. Okay. Not terrible. Not terrible. So here's my thought. They're all going to work pretty much the same. Gritty sandpaper type thing. And uh, this one here, one sort of my OCD, it's like a circle except for that little cut right there. But... Uh, it just kind of, you know, looks nice and symmetrical and whatnot. But it has the little cutout in the middle. So my thumb really kind of sits right in there. Although they are pretty rough, all of them. So I don't think my thumb would move around too much. And by the way, I'm skipping right over the plastic pick that he sent. I will give it a, give it a try on an acoustic. But on electric, I use a stainless steel pick which, as you can imagine, is fairly slippery. Uh, odd, you know what? Uh, back in, gosh, I don't even know, the late 80s, I uh, met Paul Gilbert, and I was chatting with him, and at some point he offered me one of his guitar picks, because we were talking about gear and picks and things, and he had some made up for his brand new band called Mr. Big. And... Uh, featuring Billy Sheehan and uh, Pat Torpe and Eric Martin. And he said, you know, he's really excited about this band and he's hoping that they'll kind of be big. But the picks he had had all these scratch gouges on both sides. They were printed picks but had all these gouges. And he said that it helps him to grip the pick. So this could be just the answer. So it feels good. I like it. So I'm going to try playing a few things and we'll see how it goes. So, I'm going to give it a try. Uh, give it a try. <laughs> just tipped over. 
Good heavens. This is not, uh, it's not working out. <laughs> Okay, so I can tell you it works awesomely. It totally, it, it feels great. It's slightly thicker, but I'm like, it's not hindering my playing at all. I'm totally into it. I like it. So I'm going to try the other ones and I have no real issues. Uh, I think I like the circle ones best, just because I, I know that. Now, I do have a, a, a question. <coughs> ah. uh, guitar output jack needs to be cleaned. Uh, I always, always, always put my guitar pick in the strings on my guitar. Always. So, I'm going to give it a shot. And we'll see what happens. So, uh, it gets caught right there. Boo! Yeah, but you know what? If you flip it over, it's not so bad. The uh, rough part is on the strings. So what I do is I go over the the high E, under the B, over the G. So then that allows the sticky portion to be, oh, you know, I could just do that. No, see, it gets caught. Yeah, yeah see, so the sticky portion, uh, the rough bit has to be like underneath the B. So it is touching the high E, which could start to kind of scratch it up a bit. But you know what? I play with a... Uh, stainless steel pick, so I already chew through strings like crazy, and uh, if you're dropping picks, this could be a nice handy answer for you. Uh, there you go. And uh, just sort of to be fully transparent, uh, I do play a lot with a pick slinger, which helps you to not drop a pick, but uh, it also, what I like about the pick slinger is you flip the pick out of the way. Check my other videos, you'll see them. You flick the pick out of the way, and you can play with your fingers, finger style, whatever. And then you flip, and you have the pick right back. This, obviously, is just for getting a better grip on the pick. So the pick slinger also helps you get a grip on the pick, but it has other options. This is for somebody that you're just going to grab your pick and go kind of a thing. But uh, there we are. So Jim's pick. It's pretty nice. Just so you know, I just tried all the other ones and they all work great. Uh, they all feel slightly different under your thumb. Uh, and you could flip them and have them underneath your fingers. But I, I tend to move my fingers around on the pick. The thumb kind of stays where it is and my fingers move on the pick. And one thing I did notice is this little grippy actually helps me to manipulate the pick with my first and second fingers because it allows the pick not to slide on my thumb which sometimes it does, so I have to kind of readjust everything uh, as I'm playing. But not a huge issue because I've worked around it for 30-something years, but uh, it is kind of a nice little thing. So definitely I would say check these out. I'll see if he'll uh, share this video and maybe comment on the YouTube uh, video in the comments with a link to more information or whatever. So... I definitely like it. Good job, Jim.